Okay, now let's just discuss about mitosis. If we will be defining what is mitosis is, it's a type of cell division that results in two identical daughter cells, each having the same number and kind of chromosomes as the parent nucleus, typical of ordinary tissue growth. So now, um, I have prepared an, an illustration here for you to be able to understand it clearly. So if you see here, if we have one mother, mother cell over here, okay it will undergo mitosis so that means there is a cell division occur so the two identical daughter cells here there are two identical daughter cells from the mother cell this the genetic material okay of the mother cell will automatically have the same genetic material over the two daughter cell cells as well Okay, so if it has a genetic material over here, it has the same genetic material over here. Okay, next one. Why is it that we need to learn about mitosis? So, so what is the importance of it? So we have three reasons why. The first one is the growth, repair, and replacement. So in order for us to understand it more, I have again prepared an illustration. So as you can see here, there is a small element, elephant and there is a big elephant. So just imagine that there is a, when you were young, okay, okay, when you were young, there you're like about five years old. Maybe your height during the time is about three feet tall. But now, when you're already eight, 18 years old, your height now is you're about five, five feet tall. Right? So just you just imagine the growth, right? This is because of mitosis. The next one is that why do animals shed their skin? Okay, so if you will see here that this reptiles has already shed their, their skin, right? They have replaced it. So automatically there is a replacement. So they from an old skin to a new skin. Right? One more, which is repair. For the repair, just imagine that you were cutting a, an apple, you were slicing an apple, and suddenly you were being cut, cut by a knife, okay? So the first thing that you have to do is that you will put some ointment on it, and then of course you have to cover it, right? Using a band-aid. So after five days, okay, you wanted to check it, you're the one who has been cut, so you wanted to check it, you have removed that band-aid, and suddenly the cut has already been healed right so that is one good example of repair so again that is work of mitosis so for the stages of the mitosis or the cell cycle what we call we have two main stages the first stage is what we have the interface where the growth and replication of the dna has been occur while the mitotic phase is where the division of the cell into two daughter cells will form uh, before I explain it, of course, during interphase or the initial phase, uh, usually cell spends about 90% the time in interphase. So that means the longer period of time compared to the mitosis itself, the mitotic phase, it's much more longer. So the, in, the initial stage is much more longer compared to the mitotic phase. So to explain to you now the stages of my uh, of interphase, okay? So it all started with gap one or what we call the G one. For G one or the gap one, uh, what happens here? The cell or the small cell is absorbing nutrients, growing and doing its job. So during this stage, the small cell itself is just only absorbing. So during this stage, and then after that after g1 it will go under synthesis okay for or what we call the s stage okay during s stage or the synthesis the cell is now continuing to grow and duplicate its dna so to explain to you what is that uh, dna or duplicate the dna i have prepared an illustration here okay it says here dna is all twisted up into a chromosome so this dna these are the dna over here so what happens it's just been twisted okay and there are also proteins which is present here or what we call the histones okay so it's automatically as uh uh was been twisted and also during s phase 
this chromosomes is copied into two complete identical sets of chromosomes. So, from a unreplicated chromosome, because this DNA was now been twisted, right? And this DNA, that, which was been twisted, we call this as chromosomes. And suddenly, okay, this genetic material, this DNA, automatically was been replicated, okay? So, if it's been copied, automatically, this one will become this one. Okay? So, this now, this chromosome now is also attached by a centromere, which is presently found in, in the middle. Okay? And a single copied chromosome is called what we call a chromatid. So, this is a one chromatid and another chromatid. And, but this one is what we call a chromosome. And also, this one is what we call a chromosome. Okay? Again, those genetic materials which is present over here are presence of DNA, RNA, and also proteins are what we call chromatin. Now, let's proceed to the next stage. is what we call the growth, uh, the G2, or what we call the gap 2. What happened in gap 2? The cell keeps growing, okay, and doing its job. So, that means the cell becomes matured and ready for mitosis. So, in the mitotic phase, okay, there are four main stages, what we call the prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And there is a, what we call a cytokinesis. Uh, you, I will be explaining to you what's the role of cytokinesis uh, uh, later on, okay? So, for the prophase, okay, to explain to you what happened, uh, again, this is a cell. There is what we call the uh, nuclear membrane, which is present over here. The chroma, the chromosomes is presently found over here. And these are the two centrioles. Okay? So, again, here, it says here, chromatids condense uh, becomes visible. So, those chromosomes or chromatids or cystic chromatids are becoming more visible. The nuclear membrane dissolves. So, this nuclear membrane over here is automatically been gone or disappeared, okay, or been dissolved. The centrioles, these two centrioles over here, will go to both opposite side, okay. And of course, after that, the spindle fiber starts to form between them. So in the centrum, uh, in the centrioles, there is now a formation of spindle fibers, okay, and microtubules as well, okay. So now let's proceed. For the metaphase, okay, since that the nuclear membrane is already dissolved, those chromosomes automatically will line up in the middle, okay? In the middle, where what we call the metaphase plate, okay? The centromere are attached to the spindle fibers. So automatically, the centriole over here will automatically, the, the spindle fiber which is which is attached on the, centri the centrioles, will automatically attach to the centromere. Okay, now let's proceed to the next phase, which is what we call the anaphase. For the anaphase, the spindle fibers contract, centromeres divide, sister chromatids are pulled away from each other towards uh, another poles. Okay, so what happens is that this two sister chromatids now will be Will, will automatically be uh, contract and will now pull away from each other, okay? So, one sister chromatid over here and again, this other sister chromatid will pull over here on the opposite side. Go to the, to each pose, okay? Proceed to each pose. Now, let's proceed to telophase. Telophase, uh, does each sister chromatid reach the poles? Nuclear membranes form around the two nuclei. So that means those 
uh, sister chromatid, okay? This one sister chromatid over here, one sister chromatid over here. There is now a formation of a nuclear membrane has been formed and becomes a two nuclei. So again, there are one nuclear membrane over here. There's another nuclear membrane over here. And again, there is a formation of two nuclei. One nuclei over here and then there is another nuclei over here. So for the cytokinesis, okay, its role is, of course, it provides or distributes uh, cytoplasm equally between the two new ident identical daughter cells. So the distribution of the cytoplasm is equally being distributed to both uh, cells. Okay, and after that, the cell membranes, okay, the cell membrane, these are the cell membrane, as you can see, this other is the cell membranes over here outside moves inward to create two daughter cells so automatically this will be divided this will form one and another will form another one each of its own nucleus with identical chromosomes so again the genetic material over here has the same genetic material over here so that is all about the stages of mitosis to show you the microscopic view for you to be able to see it Okay, so this is where the interface looks like, and this is what uh, the prophase looks like in the metaphase, followed by the anaphase, and of course the telophase. So that's the end of mitosis.